do to others, whatever you would have them do to you. And this is the law and the prophets. We call this golden rule. And uh, I remember my mother had is her ways to teach this golden rule. In Tanzania, the kids, especially in my time, they would, we would just walk to a neighborhood and play there with our friends. So that would be just free the whole day. Sometimes uh, when your mom needs you, they will know where to find you, neighborhood. And I remember when my friends were coming to uh, um, our house, and let's say we have one banana, and we are three of us, my mom wouldn't give me that banana to share. She would always give to a friend and tell him to distribute among us. And he would always distribute that equally. And, but most of the time, when the mom gives that to her child to distribute, he's going to get a big portion and give the others small because it is like, it is coming from my mom. So my mom had that way to teach me to, to be equal or to do to others a good way. I mean, to give them big portions because I would always like big portions, but my friend would distribute that equally to us all. So this is the way maybe my mom thought, oh, you can learn to do to others what you would like them to do to you in that way, in distributing whatever is given to you. So what is a good way for us? We practice this golden rule. To do to other people what we would like them to do to us. Most of the time, our nature is me first. Me, me, me. Look at our times, for instance. We place our time first. I want to do this for myself and then a little bit for God and for others. So God today is telling us that it is him first, then the others, then us. That is difficult, but that is how he wants us to do. What is the way we can practice this good uh, golden role? To do to others what we want them to do to us. Today we begin the day or the week of religious freedom. We pray for religious liberty. And it begins in a very good day. Since John Fisher and Thomas More, they stood for what they believed and they gave God his supremacy. In front of the king who wanted them to do according to his rules, they said, God first, and he will, be, he will remain always our supreme rule. They didn't obey the king, and the other people, because they knew that their lives are governed by God. So we pray from this day that we put Jesus at the center of our lives in all we do and say, in all our constitution, that God first, and that we have freedom of telling about Jesus, freedom of religion. We pray in a special way that Jesus governs our life and God leads our country.